Okay, hello. Uh, today I'd like to show you how you can make Windows 8 look like Windows 7. So, pretty much get rid of the start menu, as you see here, and uh, get rid of the charms menu of the app switcher right there, and this charms bar here, and this little thing here that always pops up. So, that's not hard to do. Uh, I'll I'll show you the free way of doing this and don't worry you can still access all of this but I know a lot of people don't like this and uh, so I'll show you how to do this so you need to pretty much make your computer feel like a Windows 7 computer you need two little programs and they're both free there's actually a pretty good looking one too but I'll show you the free one so first you download Skip Metro Suite and what this does is it allows you to well skip the metro and disable all that features I just showed you here so you just choose your version in my case it's the 86 one it's the 32 bit one uh, but I will tell you anyway if this is the right one or the wrong one I'll just extract it here in a desktop so then I'll double click it and it will show me yes just click yes and uh, then we'll load a bit. So then you've got this little menu here. It already is checked skip start screen, so that means we'll boot automatically to desktop, which is a nice thing. And we'll remove all this. We don't need the app switcher, we don't need rack to close, obviously, because we are not gonna use that. Uh, the charms bar here and here and the start button so that will go away with the classic shell anyway but just to make sure and then just click save settings and um, with the next log on as it says it will be safe so right now we can still get to this so we'll log off and then log on again so that takes a little time on Windows 8 it's not the fastest VM here so Go log in again, and there we are. It's already booted straight to the desktop, which is nice. And when you go up here, you don't have this kind of these uh, bars anymore. Also, not the app switcher, and also not the start button here. So, yeah, again, you can re enable that if you just uncheck everything and save settings and then you log on and off again or off and on again and it will be there again but obviously we don't want that so next you will need classic shell I think that is the best free solution of getting back your start button and start menu so just double click that and uh, this will be installing just click next and accept here next next install and then it's gonna pop up with the administrator thingy in a second there right and there we click yes and then we'll install it that should go pretty fast it's not a intensive program so as you can see there it is so actually just click finish and uh, that is all it do so you just click that and it will pop up with a menu and a little readme file you don't really need that so you can close out of this and there you can see if you want the Windows Classic XP or Vista 7 I'll take the Vista 7 one and yes just click yes and you can back up it or do some custom settings but we don't want that now so just click OK and there you go you now got a start menu that is on Windows 8 and you can access everything that you got on your Windows 7 computer pretty much all that is here, is here so so if you want a little better looking solution uh, you can go to Stardoc Start 8 in Google, just look it up using the crappy Internet Explorer here. So, 
Oh, it asks you if I want a classic explorer bar. We don't need that, so just go to google.com and, and I'll show you that. So then you just browse for star dog start or just for start 8. And there you go. Windows 8 start menu return from Windows 8. And I've got this running on a different machine. I think it looks a lot better, but it doesn't really give you additional functionalities. It does let you, though, give you a shortcut to the Metro apps and the, uh, the, the start screen. So you can still access that. I don't know why it doesn't want to load this here. I have really no idea. Just to give you an idea, that's how it looks like. No, actually not. That's the beta one, and then the original one looks a lot. Uh, the, the later one looks a lot better. Here it is. That's what it looks like. It's kind of designed for Windows 8. It's that Metro looking ish. So, yeah, that's all about it. I hope you found this useful. Uh, again, you can just re or just get rid of it. And if you go to, well, I just show you the the way. If you don't find it, if you want to get rid of all this. You just go to control panel and go to where is it? Add and remove programs and there you see classic shell, it's the only installed software, so obviously I just delete off it off here, as you can see. It's gone again. And it says you need a reboot to complete this, so we will be doing this, it will re redo this whole thing and well we don't even need a reboot anymore it just shows you that <laughs> whatever uh, we need a reboot anyway or a log off and log on with this so I show you how to do this just click everything and check all and then just click save settings and what you'll do then is well, <laughs> just go to log off and you log off and on again. And there you go, it boots right to the start screen and you still have all the Metro stuff here available. So I hope you find this useful uh, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see more of this. Peace.